I'm sorry. Not everybody fits in the bad genre. It's a genre. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my love. Good morning, Malaya. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I am Shelly, your new favorite YouTuber. And if you've already been here, you already know what's up. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, supporting my channel, showing me love. So I just showed you guys a little bit of my morning. My mornings are always pretty chaotic and I actually love it as odd as it sounds but my mornings are usually pretty chaotic because my daughter is like up getting ready for school milo's up but yeah so i'm up pretty early in the morning like every single day it doesn't matter what day of the week it is but today i have to get some work done because i am babysitting my niece tonight and y'all she's three i can never get anything done when she's with me so i want to make sure that i like film this video that i have to do today edit it get it uploaded and everything so that tomorrow i can just let it go live and i can hang out with her because i'm babysitting her from tonight till tomorrow evening when my brother gets off work so this is going to be i don't even tell you guys what type of video this is even though i'm sure you saw the title but welcome to a week in my life there has been a very long time since i have done a week in my life video and i'm like i need to do week in my life vlogs like every single week so that I can show you guys what I've been up to you know during the week today is Tuesday so I'm getting <laughs> somewhat of a late start so let me show you guys what I'm about to do but first let me grab my matcha where is my cup I don't know where I just set my cup down at oh here it is so I showed you guys or I hope I keep that clip inserted where I made my matcha green tea but I want to show you guys the matcha that I use if you follow me on Instagram then I'm sure you already saw but this is a really good matcha I got this from ooh, I got this from one of the matcha stores in the mall near me and I know a lot of people like matcha so if you want a good matcha good quality matcha that does not taste like chalk this one it's amazing it's really good they have an Instagram account I will try to link it on the screen for you guys let me show you guys what we're gonna get into today I have to film a video and I have to put on this wig and you guys look at the color of this wig I've never done this color before and I feel like it's gonna look hopefully <laughs> let's see oh <laughs> Hopefully it looks good on me, but I feel like it's going to be so pretty. I love this color. She's a beauty. So I'm going to bleach the knots really quick and then maybe do a little bit of plucking. And then I'm going to put this in and film this video. There's this makeup look that I really, really want to do. Let me show you guys so you can see. So I got to go to the store and get a couple things. This makeup look right here. This is Jada Weta. Um, the look was done by Kevin Luong. If you guys have been watching me for a while, then you know I recreated one of his looks before. And when I saw this one, guys, I was like, this is beautiful. So I have to go to the store and get some of the rhinestones and probably grab like a couple other um, drugstore products because I want to do a drugstore makeup look or recreate this look with drugstore products. So y'all look at her face. Absolutely stunning. 
beautiful so i screenshot this as soon as i saw it i'm like i'm doing this look i gotta go to the store and get like the rhinestones i want to get a new foundation um i really love the maybelline foundation and i think i actually have some i might have a few <laughs> products that i'm not thinking about so i'll set everything out um once i start filming and figure out what it is that i need but i'm going to bleach the knots on this wig install it and then get started on filming the video so today is a work day and then i'm gonna be babysitting my little niece who bosses me around <laughs> to bleach my knots i use this clairol professional blue kaleida colors hair bleach and i'm just gonna mix it in this mixing bowl use this little brush thing to apply it i like using this one because the blue tones down like brassiness because realistically whose scalp is orange you know what i mean and i just use about half i think like half the pack so about that much and then i'm gonna use some of the 40 volume developer this is the only one that i have i think so that's why i'm using this one but i I think you can use like 20, 30, doesn't matter. The 40 just makes it lift very quickly, in my opinion. So I don't mind using this. If I was dyeing my hair, I probably wouldn't use this one, but I probably wouldn't use the 40 if I was dyeing my hair. Sometimes I like to turn the wig like this, like inside out where the cap is just so that I'm not getting it all over the hair. Because sometimes it'll seep through. And honestly, I like when it seeps through just a little bit. I like for it to get the hair just a little bit blonde at the base because I feel like it looks more natural. I mistakenly did that one day and I was like, oh, I'm doing this every time going forward, so. so this is what it looks like i want to make sure that i got it all across the front and just to see like if there's anywhere that i missed then i'll apply it there but it looks it looks pretty good so i'm gonna leave this on for let me set my timer since it's a reddish color i don't know it might lift a little bit faster so i'm just gonna leave it for like 15 minutes and then i'm gonna come back to it so i set my alarm and i'm gonna wait it out <laughs> so i'll be back in about 15 minutes to check it all right guys so it's been about 30 or 35 minutes now i'm gonna rinse this out and what i use to wash the bleach out is this it's a purple shampoo, but it's the generic Sally's, I think, no, generic brand, but it works just the same. So, and I got it from Sally's. So I'm gonna go rinse this out and then I will be right back. Halfway done with the process. I just have to straighten my hair and add some curls to it. So this is what we're looking like. I'm trying to get it as flat as possible. I'm just using an old braid down. And yeah, this is the color. It's so pretty. Like this color is fire. I'm going to add a little bit of baby hair. Just a little bit. And then... I'll get back on here with the finished product because I'm so tired and I'm so hot. It is hot. <laughs> it's hot. I'm trying to be ready in time for my daughter has a track meet today at 4 o'clock. And it's like 1.18 now. So 
this is such a long process but i'm trying to speed through it so let me finish up and then i'll show you guys the finished product so hold on one second all right so i'm back with a little update you guys this color is absolutely beautiful i gotta fix that but it, this color is so pretty on my skin i've never had this hair color before so this is a first and my curls are falling i really don't have time i'm out of breath but i'm about to go to my daughter's track meet really quick so i'm gonna change my clothes i'm cleaning up my mess right now sorry but i'm gonna change my clothes and then i'll show you guys what i'm wearing really quick and then we're gonna get out of here. I keep looking at myself right here because I'm <laughs> still trying to get used to myself with this hair color. Here is the outfit. I have on these wide leg jeans from H&M, my white Air Force Ones, and like this chunky sweater from Zara. I just have on my gold earrings. I'm actually about to, let me fully put this together. Okay, so I'm gonna carry this bag but I just realized that I never took the strap out. So let me see if it actually looks better as a crossbody. And I got this bag from Zara, by the way, like months ago. So hold on. Let's see. It's supposed to be like a shoulder bag. I wish it was a crossbody bag because I feel like if it was, then I could, you know, wear it across me. The brown is what I wanted, like the added touch of brown, but it's okay. But I'm wearing these sunglasses that I got from some sunglass lady on the street of Chicago. Fragrance, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm wearing Gorgeous Gardenia, Gucci Flora, Gorgeous Gardenia. One of my favorite spring summer scents. I just pulled up to my daughter's track meet, so I'm about to, okay, it's not gonna focus on me. I'm about to go over here and be a mom and a cheerleader, and then we'll get back to it <laughs> in a little bit. Quick intermission. My daughter did absolutely amazing. She got like first place for the first one, for the 100 meter, I think. I can't remember. I was so cold out there. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know what's going on over here. Let me see if she wants to go for ice cream. So we, oh my God, today's Wednesday? No, today's Tuesday. Okay. I was about to say she has gymnastics, but no, no, she does not. Y'all, it's cold outside and it's 55 degrees, but it's like windy. And no, I had to come back in the car and turn the seat warmers on in the heat she should be coming so anyway how do you guys like my hair do you guys like this color i mean i like it but i feel like mm, i like it i don't know but whenever i see like the girls on social media when they have like blonde hair or any color like this color the orange oh my god it's just so it's so sexy it just feels i feel sexy with this hair color and I feel like that now, but in like a week or so, I'm going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> but there's nothing like a fresh wig. Anyway, um, she needs to come on. We got to go. Well, no, we don't. We have nowhere to go. I'm going to see if she wants to stop and get ice cream on the way home. And then, oh, we have ice cream at home, actually. But I just, I don't know. Maybe, it's nothing like stopping and getting it. So I'll see if she wants to stop and get ice cream. I need to eat. That's why I'm feeling tired and i have no energy because the only thing that i had today was matcha i didn't drink water i didn't do anything that i'm supposed to do my hands are so ashy what the fuck? my hair just took so much longer and i know that it takes so long to do a wig install it just took so much longer than i needed it to so now i'm sitting here like tired i want to film the video because i really wanted to edit but i know for a fact if i film tonight there is no way that I'm gonna be able to edit it tonight. So uh, maybe I'll just wait, film tomorrow, edit, submit it to the brand for approval, and then have it uploaded for Thursday. I think that sounds more practical, but um, if I'm gonna have my niece tomorrow, there's just, I don't, I don't think. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys once I get home because I'm rambling now and this is stupid, so. <laughs>
Hey y'all, so I'm back home. Nothing exciting, but I'm back home. <laughs> what? Nothing exciting? They already know that I was at your track meet. I told them. Nothing exciting going on right now. We're back home. Oh my God. The dramatics. My brother's about to bring my niece over. So I'm gonna be occupied for, for the next 24 hours. Let me heat up these fries though. Last night I made impossible burgers and french fries. So I'm about to heat up whatever we have left over because my daughter wants a burger. Actually, I made impossible sliders and um, french fries. Usually I have impossible burger with sweet potato fries and that is a hit. But I don't have any more sweet potato fries. So I'm gonna eat and then end off the night or just chill for the rest of the night. I don't, I'm not gonna film. I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow and film and um edit and stuff and then hang out with my niece and stuff until my daughter gets out of school so yeah that's about it there's nothing going on i don't want to bore you guys so i will see you guys tomorrow I know I haven't been on here all day, but I just had to show you guys what I picked up from my P.O. box. It is from Total Youth. This is their Instagram and TikTok. I haven't opened it all the way, but once I saw how it was packaged, I'm just like, let me show everyone because ah, I'm so excited. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm gonna open that. So this is, it says the Atmos Oil Carrot and Rose Hip. Oh my God. Wait, I need to see what it smells like. Bamboo teak wood. First of all, it has the wooden wick. Clearly whoever sent me this watches me because I always talk about wooden wicks and oh my God, it smells so good. It says to create something real from your imagination to allow and trust the universe will bring all that you desire and wish. Oh my god, it's bamboo, musk, sea salt, and orchid. It's a 10 ounce candle. Oh my god, this is so, this is going on my desk. This is a skin sickle. Okay, it says pour water into bottom half of the skin sickle without the hole. Add any botanicals before you add the top of the skin sickle with the hole on top. After you have connected the skin sickle back together, you will fill the rest with water through the hole at the top. Place skin sickle in freezer for two hours. Run warm water on top of skin sickle, then use on your face. That is so cool. And then they sent me soaking salts. It's teak wood and bergamot. Bergamot is one of my favorite essential oils, but you guys, they sent me a whole thing of it. Oh. <gasps> Thank you so much. Whoever sent this, wait, but here, look at this, y'all. Look. How cute is this candle? This is going on my bath tray when I take my bath, period, because how cute. You guys check them out. I'll leave the Instagram on the screen. Absolutely adorable. Here's another thing that I got in my P.O. box. It's from Zara Chioma, handbags and accessories. Okay, so you open it like this. It says Shelly. So cute. I wanna take a pic of this. All right, so let's open it. I just wanna say, you guys, with the packaging, I'm obsessed. <gasps> Y'all, I have the perfect outfit to go with this. The perfect. I've been saying for a while now that I wanted a bag, like a white bag or a cream bag. This is adorable. And the gold heels that I just showed you guys a few vlogs ago from Steve Madden. I am obsessed. Thank you so much, Zara. I, 
I think her name is Zara. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zara. I truly appreciate this. I am going to put her Instagram on the screen or you guys can see it right there. That is the name of the business. So definitely check, check them out. Um, wow. I'm obsessed. Definitely check out both of these companies. Like I said, I will have their Instagrams on the screen. Check them out if you like anything from them. Support them. If you guys don't know, I always have my P.O. box linked in my description box or posted in my description box. If you have a business and you want to send me things, you want me to show, whatever, send them to me. I always have my P.O. box in my um, description box. I can't wait to use everything that I got. I'm like, I'm geeks right now that really made my day like made me smile so thank you guys so much one thing that I wanted to mention to you guys who have like smaller businesses please do not refer to your business as a small business it's just a business because I don't want you guys speaking that over your business when you keep saying I have a small business I feel like I don't know I feel like you're like speaking that over your business and almost creating that reality in your mind that your business is small and I don't want you guys to do that I want you guys to know that your business is a business okay and as you grow you know you don't have to wait until you get to a certain level before you start to claim like big business or whatever the case is like no your business is just your business. It is not a small business. And I actually started to do the same thing with myself about like influencer. I would always be like, oh, I'm a smaller influencer. No, I'm just an influencer. I'm not claiming anything small over here. There's nothing small over here. Big body, big, no. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> anyway, y'all get what I mean. So we are just, we're shooting for the stars and beyond. We don't need to claim small anything we are not small we're not small minded we are not small individuals keep that in mind going forward if you're starting a business or you started a business there is no small business nothing no mega business whatever you want to call it okay there's nothing small about you okay or your business <laughs> so anyway i just wanted to say that because i know that you know we get caught up in you know being like small small compared to who boo like we we're not comparing over here so therefore there's nothing small about you if you don't compare it to anyone or anything else or anyone else's business there is nothing small about you period so keep that in mind <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to another day in the vlog. I'm so sorry that I've been doing such a horrible job at vlogging. My anxiety has been kicking my ass this week. And today I'm just like, you know what, let me get up, let me film. There was a different makeup look that I really wanted to do that I am still going to do, but I just, I didn't, I didn't do it today. I have to leave out in a second, but I need to make me something to eat. You guys, I have not ate anything today. I don't know why I've been feeling so anxious these last few days um but it's really 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 starting to get to me hold on let me make sure that i'm that i have my camera in the right anyway as i was saying i don't know why my anxiety has been getting the best of me but i want to thank you guys over on my instagram <laughs> I should have posted this on Instagram, but I want to thank you guys over there. If you saw my post, you guys were telling me how you have been coping with and dealing with your anxiety. And I really just appreciate that. I appreciate the support system that I have. I love the fact that you guys just are so uplifting. Like you guys are so uplifting and I just love it. I love y'all. Like y'all are so sweet. Um, okay. So I need to make myself something to eat really quick. I just finished straightening up my house because every time I get ready I make such a mess but my daughter asked me you guys she was like can you not can you she's like can you dress down and I'm like excuse me 
But yeah, she was asking that I dress down when I come to her meet. I really just can't help myself. Like I'm always dressing up because I like to get dressed and put clothes on, but I don't know, she, I guess she tired of me being all dressed up and shit all the time. You know, it'd be your own kids. I think this is simple. Maybe, let me pull this up. Cause um, yeah. So yeah, very simple outfit. I feel like my daughter will be proud. This makeup, you guys, if you haven't, by the time you see this video, that makeup look will be live. So be sure to check that out because this makeup came out fire. So I'm gonna get out of here. I will see you guys in a little bit. I think I'm gonna do this Gucci Guilty. I haven't worn this one in a long time, but as you can see, it's damn near empty. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. Otherwise, I will be late, so I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another day in the vlog. I just made matcha this morning, and it's so good. I actually spruced it up a little bit and put a little bit of the barista. What is this, actually? sweet foam on top and I sprinkled a little bit of nutmeg. I'm making myself a grilled cheese today. It is raining and when I say it's raining today it is like thunderstorming. It's supposed to be like this all day. It's so dark in my house. Let me show you guys my room. I didn't even make my bed today because I'm like I'm getting back in it. Look how dark it is in my room. I have the lights and stuff on in here because I just cannot have it be that dark. In my house i'm someone who loves sunshine and the fact that we have none today is crazy so i just have this peaceful ambiance going on here milo was just taking a nap but now he's up right <laughs> i honestly feel like this vlog is just like so i have footage from another vlog that i'm gonna include with this one because I just don't want it to be super boring. I feel like this one was so boring, but the weather has been kind of shitty and I really want it to go into the city. So maybe what I'm gonna do is in this vlog today, start a weekend vlog and then that's when we'll have a little more fun because this, this is crazy. I don't have anything planned for the day. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna chill in bed or on the couch. Tomorrow I'm going to get my lashes done. It's my goddaughter's um, birthday, so a little more fun and then i'm gonna go into the city too so we'll do that but i'm gonna be honest with you guys uh yeah i haven't been up for doing much of anything because the weather is so shitty so i think i'm also gonna book a trip to la once my daughter gets out of um, school for the summer i think i'm gonna book like a week trip to la and we'll stay in like an airbnb or something like that we did that last year and it was so much fun so i just want to be by the beach i want to be where there's sunny weather chicago is really killing my mood these days so i don't know we'll see but anyway <laughs> i don't have anything to talk about i don't want to ramble and talk you guys ears off so once i start doing something a little more exciting then i guess i'll talk about it but wait I, i've got nothing guys i've got nothing <laughs> So it's like many days later. I started editing the vlog last night and I realized that it was just not enough footage. It just was so boring. I'm like, okay, today I'm gonna be doing stuff so I can bring you guys along for it. So we're just gonna do an extended vlog. So I wanted to show you guys a little OOTD. I need to iron. I cannot find my wrinkle <laughs> releaser for these pants. So I might stop and pick some up, but the pants are now fitting me baggy, which is insane. This is crazy. But these are from H&M. I got them. They're like a wide leg pant. Disregard all the wrinkles and try to ignore it because I just don't have it in me to take them off and iron these. And then I'm wearing this bodysuit that I got a very long time ago from Forever 21. It's just like a sleeveless tank bodysuit. I'm wearing my... Uh, Louis Vuitton with the gold chain on it. I really wish that I got like a solid colored bag because this gold chain is a bit off-putting sometimes. And then the jacket is just my long faux leather trench from Zara. Heels are these like black boots with a clear heel from Zara. 
and earrings are i think these are from zara too gold hoops from zara that i got a long time ago my black cat eye sunglasses and yeah i'm wearing another 13 by lolavo if it'll focus there it is another 13 this is one of my favorites it smells amazing these wrinkled pants are killing me so I'm gonna steam or try and steam them just a little bit much much better this scarf was so wrinkled and my jeans were wrinkled and now we look better this is a scarf that i got from zara i'll link it for those of you who are interested but it's like 40 degrees outside and i have on a tank top shirt with you know my chest out so i feel like a scarf will help keep me warm this looks nothing like the sunglass place this is taking me behind the buildings i don't know what's going on it said i arrived over there but it was behind the building so i don't know like here's crate and barrel I've never been out here before. So I don't know what to do. Let me call the place. Oh, they have a Sephora over here. I don't need anything from Sephora. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But where is Sunglass Hut? They have a Mac over here? Oh, it does it's right over there. They need to, um, Google needs to update their information because this is ridiculous. Oh my god, they have so many stores over here. Alright, not gonna park there. I'm gonna park in this one. You guys, I am a... I always park backwards. So much to the point where I don't even know if I know how to park forward anymore. But what I will say is that my parallel park game... These cars, the new cars with the sensors and shit, it's so ridiculous. All right. Quick, I'm vlogging. What you want from on Rodeo Drive? Where we are. <laughs> <You're so annoying. laughs> Wait, where are you at on Rodeo? What do you buy? Okay, let's go in here and get them. Oh, but let me show you guys this lip combo. I kind of want to do this on my Instagram story too. Let me show you guys the gloss combo that I've been loving since yesterday. I'm sweating like a Hebrew slave. It's ridiculous. Whoever told me about the Ulta lip oil, I know a few of you guys were telling me about it. Yeah, it is so good. I love it as much as I love the Dior lip oil. The only thing that the Dior lip oil has that I like is that like minty that like I don't know that like menthol -y feeling that's the only thing that this doesn't have but it smells so good and it's so good on the lips but anyway so I've been loving using this the Ulta lip oil and then the Chanel what shade is this this is the Rouge Cocoa Gloss 804 it is so beautiful. It's a really pretty pink sheer. I've been really into pink lately. As you guys can see, my nails are like the natural pink. And I just have like a really small white line on them. But I've been really loving pink. And this is even pink, the Ulta lip oil. But I just put a little, a little bit of this Chanel lip gloss. It's a really natural pink. I've love the way that it looks and i'm like oh i have to go and buy another one of these because one thing with chanel when they sell out they sell out for a while with their stuff and i don't want that to happen to me so i think i'm gonna go buy like more or buy another one just so i have a backup um okay it is so cold. I'm not looking forward to getting out of my car. We had a freeze warning from 
midnight to 7 a.m. We're going into May. Like, it's supposed to be spring. I'm starting to really get annoyed with this weather. All right, let's go. nice and I got my glasses I'm so excited still got a little bit of time before I have to go to my lash appointment so let me find an acai bowl place certain hours days of the week we apologize about the inconvenience what the f no one wants to work for the bare minimum anymore they really need to do better with the pay rate because no one wants to work at these places because jamba juice has no employees like they have to close down shop 
during certain hours and times or whatever because because they have they have an employee shortage a little bit of advice for corporations pay your employees what they deserve and you know with the rent increase and all that people just aren't willing to work for pennies anymore so good on y'all for standing y'all ground and not working at places that underpay you and overwork you well, i just pulled up in front of my lash text um shop and y'all tell me this does not look like a person right there on the porch i thought right there i thought that was a person it freaked me the hell out <laughs> Hopefully it's focused on me, but like I said, I just pulled up in front of my lash text shop. My appointment isn't for like another 15 minutes, so. I really wanted to go and get an acai bowl. I was like searching high and low for a place that sold them. And the only place I found was this like run down looking spot. And I'm just not doing that. I'm not going into a rundown looking spot that sells like smoothie bowls and is like a health food spot because it just it doesn't look sanitary and I don't think it's sanitary. I just stopped and got this sweet and salty trail mix that has M&M's, peanuts, pretzels, and mini chocolate chip cookies. Everything I don't need but want. I'm at my lash appointment. So, about to get these filled in. Freshly done lashes, but my brows are missing. <laughs> Slightly, my brow is missing, but my lashes look so good. I love a fresh fill. My daughter's track meet got canceled because it's so cold outside. It's like 40, 40 to 45 degrees out right now. This is crazy. So they canceled the meet, which is fine because I really did not want to sit out in the cold today. I'm going to go to the place not too far from my house and get an acai bowl. I kind of want a boba. Mango boba sounds really good right now. So I might get that also and then get my daughter a mango boba as well. So we'll see. But I'm going to see you guys once I get there because look at this camera. <laughs> Home. Got my 
mango, pineapple, and strawberry smoothie. Will it hear me chomping? Probably. It's okay though. <laughs> do you want some of this acai bowl? You do? Okay. You can have some. I'm gonna get. How was school today? Does that take, taste like yogurt? Better. I saw so many of you guys commenting on my other video about the acai bowl saying that I made you guys want one. Mmm. Mmm. Here we go again. <laughs> We're reading this book about this boy and he like feels like an outsider, which is the book name, The mm -hmm. Outsiders. Mm -hmm. And he, it made, cause his, his dad thought of him as like a disgrace. And he- What's the name of the book? The Outsiders. And, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> and basically, I was saying, like, basically what you told me, I didn't say that you told me because it was kind of like, you know, what? That usually when parents are, like, rude to the kids and all that, that's usually the one that gets successful and able to take care of them to something along those lines. I said when the parent is rude to the... Well, you didn't say rude. It was like, um, because how, like, grandma was always like made you do stuff and always you know oh how she was to me yeah um she, that's how his dad was to mm -hmm. him but his dad and his mom passed in a car accident and he was saying like his dad just thought he wasn't important i guess and his mom always tried to like get away from that but you want some but what else? I don't like with the banana. You don't like the what? No, I want it with the banana. Oh, you should try it with the blueberry too. Cold. It is cold. <laughs> it is cold. But what happened? So he he ended up being successful. Well, he. Oh, you guys didn't finish. It's it. based on the true story. Mm-hmm. What? Give me that next time you go. You like it? Mm hmm So good. But basically, this is that he started writing the Outsiders. Mm -hmm. So he like literally personal book mm -hmm. made in the sixties. Mm -hmm. So he wrote it when he was fifteen. He finished when he was sixteen. Got it published when he was graduating high school at seventeen. Mm. But no one, he said, um, they were telling him not to use his real name, use like initials or something, because mm -hmm. people aren't going to want to buy a book by a 17 year old. But actually, he, he didn't expose his age and stuff. But in the book, if you read it, he says, like, I made this when I was like. I want to read it. It's called The Outsider. There's a book about, I mean, a movie about it. What's it called? About, uh, well, no, it's something else. I can't remember. I'm gonna search it up. Alright. Let me show you what I got from Sunglass Hut today. I feel like I should do a TikTok and, or not like a TikTok, but a reel and do like an unboxing. I think I should. I think I will. I think I will. Alright. I kind of want to play in makeup today since my lashes are done. You, you know, know what you should do? Hmm. I, 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 this is, I feel like it's going to be like a fun thing to do on your channel too. What? I'm sorry. Not everybody fits in the bad genre. It's a genre. <laughs> Milo say hi everybody. Look Milo. He's been really good today. You've been such a good boy. Look, let everyone see you. Y'all, he got a haircut like a week ago and it doesn't look like it. Come here. Look at his hair. It sticks up on top of his head. Don't show me. Okay, sorry. Well, you're in the background, Malaya. Well, blur me out since you're like a pro editor now. I'll put the blur over you so no one will see you. But guys, I just did my makeup and I tried the pink 
powder where is it i was watching this girl's makeup video on youtube shorts and she used a pink powder under her eyes and this is the morphe one this is the only one that i was able to find and it's crazy because i went to ulta yesterday to get it and it was only one left and she had to go in the back and get it and she's like yeah no they've been selling out because of tiktok blah 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 and i just wanted to try it i didn't know if it would look right on brown skin or whatever i mean it's fine i feel like it's a little too bright for my liking so uh yeah don't really recommend i don't know if you guys can really tell how bright it is but it's a little too bright i probably need to play around with it a little bit and probably like mix it i was just trying to use it to see if it made a difference in my makeup and i don't really notice the difference i'm still a major fan of the hourglass this um veil translucent powder is just fire it's top tier for me in my opinion so yeah i just wanted to try it out i was gonna do my makeup on camera with it but i just did a tiktok so um where's my phone but yeah i'm gonna post it later on this evening so if you don't follow me on tiktok go follow me on tiktok at i am shelly with two y's <laughs> i am shelly with two y's this lip gloss if the you're chanel tomorrow, lip gloss it's fire. What if I'm vlogging tomorrow? What? Show them, show them running my 100 meters. I don't really know if I want to show you at school because, oh, yeah, you know. Our, our jerseys have the names. Done. Yeah. It makes such a mess every time I do my makeup because I need a beauty room. Still in search of a place. Still haven't found anything. So, no luck there. I honestly feel like. God is just telling me you're not going to find anything here because you're not supposed to be in this state anymore. You're supposed to be somewhere else. So I don't know if I'm going to find anything here. Let's go to Nashville. But let's go to Nashville. It's a lot like more fun. It was fun. When we went. It was fun. Yeah, we fun. need to visit like other states though. This summer. Well, I don't want to move to Texas, mom. That's like literally across the country. That's fine, but you also don't want to be stuck in the same place that you've been your whole life. Everywhere is expensive these days. These days. These days, everything costs a lot of money. Ever since you guys, you season. know what else I bought when I went to Ulta yesterday? I did not know that Chanel is now sold at Ulta. I think I said that earlier today, but anyway, I got the Chanel eye cream. It was like $75, but one thing that I will say is that when it comes to eye cream, I don't mind splurging because I'm very lucky to not have super dark under eyes. It could be genetics, but I have been using eye cream under my eyes for like seven or eight years now, and that could have a lot to do with it. And I noticed that a lot of people, before they even turn 30, are going and they're getting Botox and they're getting filler and everything under their eyes. I know that they say that you should do it early, catch it before the lines start forming. I take care of that area and I'm very gentle with that area because I know that all the tugging and pulling and concealer and powder buildup and all that can cause premature wrinkles and we don't want that. You know, if you take care of your skin, when you're 50, you'll be looking 30. When you're, you know, 70, you'll be looking 50. Like that's just what it is. So make sure you guys are taking care of your skin. I can't promote this enough push for this enough wear your sunscreen wear your sunscreen black girls white girls whoever everyone black men everyone wear your sunscreen i promise you it helps so much it also helps with like hyperpigmentation and all that I, I speak about this a lot and i know i sound like a broken record but i really just want people to start taking better care of their skin mainly so that people don't feel pressured into plastic surgery and getting all these injections and things like that They're so soon i'm seeing so many young girls getting the injections and things like that and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it you know i feel like if you don't like something and you want to change it feel free i don't want anyone to feel pressured into doing it i'm not against it but i no longer look at aging as like a scary thing i honestly feel like it's a beautiful thing to be able to grow older and i just want to show people that although you can you know be beautiful with plastic surgery you can also be beautiful without so yeah that's my little um motivational speech for the video i guess i'm always talking i can never shut up anyway um let me finish cleaning up my mess and then 
I'm going to slip into something a little more comfy and cozy. And then I'll chop it up with you guys in a little bit. Milo is a vlogger. Look at him. So, hey guys, welcome back to the Milo <laughs> channel. <laughs> Milo, they love seeing you on the vlogs. They always comment about Milo. I'm tired, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this week in my life vlog or a few days in my life vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at I am Shelly and on TikTok at I am Shelly with two eyes. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support on my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Good night. Oh. You don't have to do much.